Hello, 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 my dear student. And this week we will cover lesson 6-5, which is about properties of special parallelograms. Let's see what's the essential question. What properties of rhombuses, rectangles, and square differentiate them from other parallelograms? So we will discuss rhombuses, rectangles, and squares. After finishing this lesson, you will be able to use the properties of rhombuses, rectangles, and squares to solve problems. Let's go through over our lesson. We have, as usual, many examples that we will cover to assure your understanding for the lesson. We will start with example one, which is about the conceptual understanding. Find the diagonals of the rhombus. We'll see how it is solved in details, how to find the measures of these angles. We'll solve them in details. Okay. And then we have many other examples. We have theorem 616 is about what the diagonals of parallelogram, uh, which is a rhombus. If you know that the figure is a rhombus, then by default, the diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other, which means that they meet at right angle and that they bisect each other. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understand all the lessons before. Also, we will talk about the relation between the angles of a rhombus and the diagonals. You know that the diagonals passes through the vertices, non-adjacent vertices, and each uh, pair of uh, angles are uh, bisected by the diagonals. As an example here, if you can see, this is 63 and this is 63. Let's change the angles and see how it will differ. It won't differ, it will be always the same because diagonals not only bisect each other, but they do bisect opposite angles. And then we will practice how to find length and angle measures in a rhombus. As usual, in details. Then we will talk about rectangle. We all know that rectangles are parallelogram with right angles. So whenever you have opposite pairs of sides are congruent and the angles four angles are right angles we call it what parallel uh, i mean sorry we call it a rectangle what happens to the rectangle the diagonals we are discussing the diagonals that the diagonals are also congruent here and then we will prove that the diagonal of a rectangle are congruent then we will find the diagonal length of a rectangle. We know that since there is a right angle, always Pythagoras theorem is uh, there and we can use it. And then there is a summary for that. We discuss rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. <clears throat> we'll see what is the property of each one of them. So as I always tell you, in geometry, some certain things we must memorize in order to learn how to implement it, okay? So I hope you will understand this lesson and practice it really good. Have a good day, everybody.